Hey y'all, what's going on? Sebastian here with Spin Driving School and we are back with another video, Vancouver Learns How to Drive. Here is what not to do on your road test. Do not follow the car in front of you or multiple cars in front of you if the light is already yellow. If you enter on the yellow or on the red light, you're more than likely to out of fail. So don't do this. Kind of an opposite situation. I have a green light. I've made video about this before, videos rather. You're not going to proceed until the intersection is clear. Even though that car was turning late and this is why you don't follow another car into the intersection, you still have to wait. Why are we running red lights? You do not turn left on a red light. It's just not how it works, especially with a pedestrian crossing in this situation. It's just very dumb and unsafe, dangerous moves. What are we doing? Why are we passing? on the right hand side. This is not cool. Happens to me a lot. You know, people see a student driver sign in the back and they don't want to wait. I get it, but be patient. A very similar situation. Turning left. Why are we inching forward on the red light? This is unnecessary. And it's stupid and dangerous and irresponsible. You'll probably get the green arrow. Just wait. But it's just, it's human nature. We want to go places. We want to go to Home Depot. We got to get there before the sale is over. See, green arrow. Like, what was the point of that? It doesn't yield you any special results. If you are going to be stopping at a two-way stop sign, make sure that you are careful when you are inching forward. You don't want to go too far. Look how far this guy got. Now he has to back up. You could fail your road test if you have to reverse. Now I'm going forward and he's still moving. He's rolling forward. Like, just come on, man. You got to wait. You have good visibility from where he is. If you're going to be turning, there you go. Look at that. You can miss those pedestrians. So always make sure you're scanning for people first when you're turning, especially if there is a crosswalk marked or unmarked. That silver car is supposed to be going straight. I've made videos about this particular intersection before and this happens a lot. So don't do stupid things. Four way stop. No, not going to stop. Illegal, auto fail. People still do it. Making a full stop and about to go. No, look at that. Didn't even flinch. That's why you always have to scan intersections. Look at this car coming towards me right now. Four way stop, full stop for me. No. Not very safe at all. Automatic fail. If, you'll, if you're going to be turning at a two way stop sign or a one way turning right, Make sure you creep up and look to your left. Don't creep up too far, but don't just go. That's a mistake. That's an automatic fail. Again, two-way stop. That's not where you don't stop in the middle of the road. You stop behind the line or maybe, you know, a little few inches past the curb, if anything. U-turn, top right. This is a situation here where if you have a safe gap, you should take it. So this is a safe gap. That's, you know, three, four, five second gap. If you fail to take a safe gap on your road test, you could get yourself in trouble, especially if you wait for the yellow or for the red light and you have a safe gap. So take a safe gap, know what it is, be able to judge the speed of cars. Look at that cyclist there. Red light did not even care. There was a car turning right. Some of these cyclists are just not cool. Now here in this situation, a fella is passing me. Not a problem. It, it's a single line, but I mean, we were going 50, man. Come on. That car did not stop. That car had a red light. So if you're turning right on a red light, make sure you stop first. What are we doing, folks? Turning left, this car approaching has their signal on, but they change their mind. 
So I have to yield and wait. And this sucks, but it happens. And be careful because these situations do occur on the test. So always make sure that safety is number one priority. Now here we have a situation where there will be an ambulance coming from the left-hand side. And the car, this black car up ahead, a Mercedes, was uh, honking quite aggressively. So, you know, that's what, if you hear a siren, be patient. If you find yourself in this particular situation, stay behind the cyclist, okay? Unless you have enough space to pass them safely and stay within your lane, that's fine. But I would recommend staying behind them because this is an unpredictable situation. You don't know what's going to happen now. There you go. You have safe and safe area to pass them, not go around them. Good to go. If you are stopping at any intersection, Always look for people first. You don't have to wait until they cross fully, as long as they're past the center. Very similar situation here. Different circumstances. So pay attention to the lights. Again, I'm going to wait until he's past the other side of the road or the, the center line. Good to go. Here's something very uncommon, a one lane street. I mean, you'll see them downtown and you know, some cities. Uh, I know Point Grey has a one around ICBC, which is kind of tricky. It's failed a lot of people. So we've got the fuzz. If you get caught speeding or doing anything else, you're going to pay the price. I've done it, trust me, don't speed. Look at that van up ahead swerving all over the lane and then he's going to make a right turn from the center lane yeah not smooth at all very stupid if you see those flashing yellow lights start slowing down unless you're flying but so we're going to stop and then you can argue that last car there, that's a bit of a late turn, but you know, if you're going to push through it, do it safely. Okay. Don't do it on your test though. Got an accident here. I've made videos in this particular intersection as well before this intersection has accidents on, you know, like weekly or monthly basis, at least it's, it's crazy. And if you go around the police officers, you know, give them space and go nice and slow and gentle. Be courteous. If you're merging on the highway, accelerate into your merge. Okay, this car should be getting in front of me. I mean, that's a lot of space there. And I'm already going slow. I'm trying to move over to the right side. So we're going at 60 kilometers an hour, which is already too slow. You should be getting in front of me. Like I'm going faster than that car right now and I'm exiting. That's just not good. Look at that. I've had questions about these situations, what happens, and this this hasn't happened to me in a really, really long time. But you turn, there's cars on both ends, both sides rather, you can't go anywhere. So I'm going to back up safely, do your 360 and back up. Now, if you reverse on your test, that could be an automatic fail. So you can always ask the examiner what to do. But, you know, the only thing in this case is I back up or they do. And I had a shorter distance to go. So I did it because uh, that's just how I roll. I try to be nice. And this is going to be a almost. So if you're making a left turn, be careful. Don't don't cut your corners. Watch out for those gaps. Look at that. Right. So that's not a safe gap. So that's it. That's all. We'll see you in the next video, fellas and ladies and everybody else. Cheers.